Hello everybody and welcome to the Texas Motor Speedway for the NASCAR Xfinity Series Andy's Frozen Custard 300 and the next race in our NF2003 Xfinity Series season. Justin Allgaier starts on the pole alongside Parker Kligerman, his best start of the year. As we get ready to get the green to get underway here in Texas, the green flag is out. We are green here in Texas. Allgaier and Kligerman lead the field of the start finish line as the race is underway. Who will get the win today? So far, the last four races have been all Toyota victories from Sheldon Creed to Chandler Smith. That JGR duo has won four straight races. Will anyone be able to beat them today? Right now, Allgaier trying to beat them there. Here comes the one of Sam Mayer. Mayer to the inside, Allgaier. Mayer looking for the lead. He's got help from the 81 of Chandler Smith. Of course, has been so strong lately. That 81 machine. You know, the new paint team, the quick tie dash for cash leader in this dash for cash race as Sam Mayer leads the way here through three and four lap number one in Texas. Mayer leads the way behind us. Kind of in the wall goes Ryan Truex to the 20. He's crashing with Sammy Smith. Custer gets damaged and we got a big stack up going into one and two. That is, I think, Corey Heim. We got turned around by Brandon Jones, but it all starts when the 20 of Ryan Truex gets turned into the outside wall by Sammy Smith coming out of turn four and dash for cash driver Cole Custer collects damage in this incident as well. I see a hard hit for Sammy Smith and Ryan Truex in the 20 making his first start since Atlanta goes crashing hard to the outside wall in that 20 car for Ryan Truex. Sammy Smith collects the damage. Cole Custer of course as well could affect his dash for cash hopes today of getting the 100 grand bonus and of course Brandon Jones and Corey Heim get turned around by Shane Van Gisbergen there after the flag. Meanwhile, back to the part of the pack that survived that incident and is still racing. Well, they're not racing anymore. Sam Mayer in the lead. Chandler Smith second. Now we're going to get back underway. Out of the race, shockingly, though, is Brandon Poole, Brandon Jones, Haley Deegan, and Kyle Sieg are all out of the race here. As we get back underway in lap six, uh, that's very odd. There's something that we missed and they've taken out those cars as they weren't involved in the main rack. But unfortunately for Haley Deegan, she doesn't even really get the race here. Neither does this Brandon Jones, who's so good to start the year. Sam Mayer to say don't get started this long year. Or Brandon Poole, who is really strong to start the year and has kind of fallen off the last couple of weeks. But back at the front of the field is Sam Mayer leading the way here at Texas. Now, Mr. Kyle, there, Riley Irvin's the 98, Shield Creed, the 18 up the track, the 98's in the wall hard. Riley Irvin's crashing back in the pack, and double licky in the big one. Strikes at Texas, five, six, seven, eight cars crashing, coming out of turn four. Taylor Gray, again unlucky, gets collected in this. Riley Earps, Jeb Burton, Ryan Ellis in it, Garrett Smithley, Josh Balicki, Leland Honeyman involved. A big pile up here at Texas coming out of turn four. I mean, Riley Earps took a hard, hard hit to that outside wall. I mean, we're going to go slow-mo replay here. Full speed replay. Clearman turns Earps down to Sheldon Creed. Creed comes back to track. This clips Earps, sends him hard to the outside wall, gets drilled by Balicki, and then Taylor Gray almost upside down, then sends the, you know, Smithley spinning to Dawson Cram. The track, basically the track gets blocked back here. Bunch of guys pile in. Cautious. I mean, that was a hard, hard hit, man. Here, watch from this view. You see Earps in the background go slam the outside wall hard as the pack goes crashing right past us here. A hard, hard crash there for the 98 of Herbs, the 92 of Balicki, and the 19 of Taylor Gray. Now we're going to go through Riley Herbs on with the Monster Energy onboard camera. Watch this hard, hard hit here in the wall. Man, that was a nasty hit for Riley Herbs right there, the outside wall, and then back down into Taylor Gray and Balicki. That was a hard lick Herbs took. Hopefully he is okay. Now we're going to go the Ziegler onboard camera with Josh Balicki, who is actually not doing too bad. We're up inside the top 10 before this happened. Just clipped the nose of Earps right there and gets sent spinning in front of the pack. It's a little bit of contact there with Daniel Dye at the end of it, but not terribly bad. Uh, but it's that initial hit that really did it, man. Now we're going to go the Rocky Top onboard camera here with the 19 of Taylor Gray. This one's going to hurt. Oh man, he got drilled from behind right at the same time Herbs came down in front of him. Nowhere to go, gets drilled. Hard contact for Taylor Gray. You know, making another one of these Xfinity starts this year for Joe Gibbs Racing. Unfortunately, that car completely destroyed. Another opportunity going to be missed for him. As you know, it's really not his fault. He's just going to take it out Rex. It's not his fault. Now, one final look at the wreck here. Herbs hard to the outside wall. Takes out Josh Blicky, Taylor Gray, Garrett Smithley, Dawson Cram, and brings out the caution flag here early at Texas. Our second caution in the first seven laps of the race. Meanwhile, the rest of the pack here is at the front. It's all Guyer and all Medina are going to be leading us back to the green flag. Down to 31 in the race now. It's the three main guys from that last incident. Blicky, Herbs, and Taylor Gray are all out. 
Uh, Dawson Crams will not down. So Almendinger leaves the field here at Texas, trying to get win number two on the year. Of course, won our season opener at Daytona. Justin Allgaier second, trying to get back to victory lane to get back to the playoffs. How about Jesse Love running in third alongside Parker Kligerman? How about Shane Van Gisbergen, the 97, going for the dash for cash lead right now on the inside. Chandler Smith in his first ever race at Texas Motor Speedway. Here comes Jesse Love. Love dies to the inside of Justin Allgaier. Love going for the lead. As we all, the front uh, contenders make it through turn one, two, save behind us. There's a little bit of bumming and banging going on. And through the corner, there's Cole Custer. Custer gets turned around up the track. He collects. Poor Sam Mayer again collected in a wreck. That is not his fault. This guy cannot catch a break this year. Sam Mayer gets turned as Cole Custer goes spinning through the grass. He comes right back up to the track right the same time. Sam Mayer inches away from clearing. Custer on the top gets spun around. And crashes into the outside wall, putting an end to his competitive day more than likely. As you see here is just a squeeze between Ryan Truex, Jeremy Clements, and Cole Custer. Doesn't end well for Custer. He goes spinning right up into Sam Mayer, who almost gets by. And then Mayer spins, gets uh, the hood. It goes in the outside wall. Pretty much gives him pretty significant damage there. And it's going to put him behind the eight ball the rest of the way. Meanwhile, the rest of the pack racing back to the line. At the front is Allgaier. How about Ryan Sieg in second right now? Doing a whale of a job. Chandler Smith does it. Oh, now we're four wide. Come out third two. That ain't going to work, boys. And it's not going to work around. Goes Corey Heim. Shane Van Gisberg is wrecking. Retzloff, Austin Hill, Weatherman. A huge pile up down the front stretch at Texas. As four wide coming out of turn four. Does not work. And Corey Hahn, the young driver, gets taken out. Two dash for cash drivers alongside the third one, Cole Custer, under this one caution, are cleaned out. Van Gisbergen, Retzloff, and Custer basically giving it to Chandler Smith, basically, to win the money two weeks in a row. Let's give him a $200,000 bonus to his tab. I see we were four wide. This wasn't going to work. They all squeezed together. SVG turns Heim. He gets slammed up into Retzloff. Weatherman gets turned around. And the Benedetto, Sammy Smith, Sheldon Creed, Ryan Ellis, Arca Break, Joey Gase right there. The Chad Finch and piles in. More Arca Breaks from Ryan Truex, Clemens. And then more from the four of Cram. And a big time pile up. Here's going to take a lot of cars at Texas as a wild race starting to really kick off here. So now, once again, back underway on lap 28. Just 26 cars left in this race. Custer officially out in 27th. Will not win the Nash for Cash today. Will not be eligible next week at Talladega. And we're three wide for the lead. Justin Allgaier, Parker Kligerman, and Chandler Smith going after it. Chandler Smith, of course, going for the win. He pretty much already has the money in the bag at this point. But he wants to win to add on to it. Do we win number three? And that will be back-to-back -back victories and keep JGR's winning streak to five straight races as Chandler Smith will take the lead away from Justin Allgaier with the help of A.J. Allmendinger going to turn three here at Texas Motor Speedway as Chandler Smith tries to drive away and win this opening stage of racing. A lot of guys up here in contention trying to find their way up, but it's Chandler Smith leading this race over AJ Allmendinger. Here comes Allmendinger, the run of the inside. Allmendinger, who's had a rough couple of weeks since that victory at Daytona, trying to bounce back to here at Texas, which he does. Is Allmendinger now back to the race lead here at Texas Motor Speedway as Chandler Smith down to fire from Allgaier. Now Allgaier is leading the way here, 30 laps in. And now we're three wide back here. Mayor, Die, and Sieg. That's not going to work around. Goes Ryan Sieg. And the outside wall says Jesse loves spinning. Collects Sam Mayer again. Oh, and oh, Arca breaks to Benedetto piles in. Weatherman. That is the 07 Emerling. Big hit for Shane Van Gisbergen. And a wreck that looks like there's only going to be one car turns into like six or seven down the front straightaway. As three wides and C crush that's all. He just clips Jesse Love, turns him right down in front of Sam Mayer. They both go spinning to the inside out of the way of traffic. Then Ryan C gets drilled by Matt to Benedetto. Absolutely Arca breaks. And then Emerling piles in. Weatherman and Joey Gase collected there at the last second. Just disaster at all ends for Ryan Sieg racing right there. And poor Sam Mayer can't catch a break either. But I mean, what is Matt DiBenedetto doing? Just obviously Arca breaks that. Unbelievable. Sammy Sieg gets a little piece of history. Okay, the SVG gets drilled with Austin Hill in between Corey Heim. Clements Arca breaks. And just the pileups continue to grow here in Texas. Now we got Battle for the lead. Racing back to the line. Chandler Smith and Justin Allgaier are absolutely going at it right now. They're side by side about the line. Chandler Smith gets the lead over Justin Allgaier. And now we move on to the last half of stage one. Parker Kligerman will win stage one here at Texas. Almondinger second. Chandler Smith third. Justin Allgaier comes through to get fourth in the stage. Sammy Smith is fifth. How about Alfredo in sixth? Jesse Love seventh. 
8th for Daniel Dye. Sam Mayer somehow gets two stage points. And Blaine Perkins gets a top 10 and gets one stage point. So the stage results are right there. Kligerman, your stage one winner. Then we on to stage two. It's Justin Allgaier and Sammy Smith against the green flag. Sammy Smith, the advantage now clear for the race lead off into turn one here at Texas as a lot of the leaders got stuck behind that stacked up lap chuck. They're going to have to catch back up. Right now it's JRM Masterclass. One, two, three. Sammy Smith, Allgaier, and Mayer. And then you got Emerling and Perkins behind them. But now the 81 Chandler Smith, Almanier, Kligerman are in this absolute behemoth of a pack. And Trevor Chandler Smith going to the middle. We're going to be three wide. We might be four wide, gentlemen. Coming out of the corner. And we, and we are four wide again here in Texas. Will it work this time? Yes, it does. What a move by Chandler Smith. Four wide middle makes the pass. Keeps falling. Kligerman, he is him. And now Sammy Smith leads Allgaier. Now we get back underway. Allgaier is now crashed out of the race with Emerling and Yaley. Here lap 122. It's going to be like a four or five lap dash here to end stage two. It is the same top three as before. Chandler Smith, AJ Allmendinger, and Parker Kligerman with Daniel Dye, Anthony Alfredo, and Jesse Love behind them. But Allgaier, one of the best cars all day long, is crashed out. He will end up DNFing and ending up in 22nd place today. Disappointing for him after having a very strong race so far. So now Chandler Smith will be in the lead. He's on the outside of Parker Kligerman. He's looking for his second career win. As of course, in this universe last season, he got the win at the Charlotte Roval. Oh, there goes Sam Mayer through the grass. Keep your foot in it. Hang on to her. And Sam Mayer saves it. What a save. And that was like the third or fourth time he's gone through the grass today. This time he didn't spin out. Incredible driving job there by Sam Mayer. Keeping that car in one piece for right now at least. Kligerman leads the way. And how about Anthony Alfredo? Driving his way up into second right now, trying to get around the 81 Chandler Smith. Alfredo trying to get some more stage points here at the end of the stage. He's been having a fantastic start to this season. That five team has been hitting on all cylinders. And, I mean, this is a really underrated driver and team. And Alfredo is a really talented guy. He hasn't got the opportunities he's deserved lately. But he is really doing a great job with lesser equipment. You know, last year, BJ McLeod Motorsports did a great job. Doing it once again this year with his second time around with our motorsports running second. Behind him the battle for third is Almany or Chandler Smith, but Kligerman leading the way, trying to sweep the stages today in Texas. For the first time in his career, he would have done that. As Kligerman leads the way here on that 125, now this is pretty much going to be the last lap of stage here. Kligerman looking to bring home the stage sweep. Almany or Powers into second. Chandler Smith going to hang out on Alfredo and Smith going to drive into third. Alfredo dropping down to fourth now, but still a valiant effort at the end of the stage there from the young driver in that five machine, that being Anthony Alfredo, as Kligerman works his way through three and four the final time in the stage. And ladies and gentlemen, better get that broom out as Parker Kligerman is going to sweep the stages here at Texas, winning stage two. Almendinger is second. Chandler Smith is third. Alfredo fourth. Daniel Dye fifth. Jesse Love sixth. Sheldon Creed seventh. How about Joey Gase in eighth getting three stage points? Then Sammy Smith is ninth, and last stage point going to go to the 27 of Jeb Burton as Kligerman sweeps the stages here at Texas. Now we move on here to lap 130, about uh, 131, 101 to go in this race. Sorry, not no, 70 to go. And now the trouble, Corey Heim has gone around on the front straightaway. Corey Heim has been spun again as they were nearly four wide again, and this time SVG turns Josh Williams, sends Corey Heim the outside wall. SVG collects some damage as well, and Heim goes spinning. It's a tough day for him. Not the way he wanted to be uh, running today in his third or fourth Xfinity start last couple of weeks. But Chandler Smith is going to be leading us back to the line over Kligerman. Almendinger seem to be the top three cars here that will be fighting out for the win. Then Alfredo is fourth. And how about Daniel Dye? Top five run. Great job for that young driver in his colleague racing uh, second start of the year, actually. And so now we move on here to just three laps to go at Texas. A.J. Almendinger in the lead, trying to get his second win of the season. Parker Kligerman running in second, trying to get only a second career win here and get in the playoffs. And Chandler Smith trying to win the race and the dash for cash here in third. There to be three wide for the lead and for the win. Coming to two to go here at Texas. That's what you want to see here. Three, four. Chandler Smith to the inside. Three wide bottom. What a move and what a battle. Chandler Smith takes the lead away. What a drive to take that three wide pass on Kligerman and Almendinger to go to the front with just two to go at Texas. Can he go back to back? But now the inside lanes losing momentum Chandler cannot hold on the bottom and Almendinger uses the outside lane to power back in the lead as Almendinger will not be denied he wants that second one of the season for colleague racing to get himself as one of the championship favorites up there those two JGR that JGR duo of Creed and Smith now coming out of the three and four white flag in the air final lap presented by credit one bank for AJ Almendinger at Texas can he hang on and get the victory 
Kligerman runs in second. Chandler Smith has now dropped all the way to third after making that incredible three wide pass for the lead. He couldn't hold it in turn one. The Zach Carr just does not handle well on the bottom, I guess, and it has cost him probably relegating to it, but he's still going to win a $200,000 bonus for winning the first two Dash for Cash races, just like he did last season. As out of turn four of the final time, the start finish line, AJ Allmendinger holds on and wins at Texas. His 16th career win. Second on the year, your runner up is going to be the 48 Kligerman. Third place is going to end up being Chandler Smith. And how about Daniel Dye? A career best fourth place finish here at Texas and only his third Xfinity start. Fifth place going to go to the 18 is Sheldon Creed. Sixth place, Alfredo. Seventh going to be the two of Jesse Love. Great run for that rookie as well. Then the rest of the top 10, Jeb Burton, Sam Mayer, Sammy Smith. But Almondinger. Your winner today here at Texas Motor Speedway. Here are your final race results. Almondinger gets the victory. So him, Parker Kligerman, Chandler Smith, and most likely Sheldon Creed will be the dash for cash next week at Talladega Super Speedway. As it's unlikely Daniel Dye will run, but if he does, he will be eligible instead of Creed for that dash for cash. As Smith tries to go for three in a row next week. And then Alfredo is sixth. Great run for him. Another top ten for that team. Jesse Love, uh, best finish of seventh. Good top 10 for Jeb Burton, 8th. Recovery effort for Sam Mayer in 9th and Sammy Smith in 10th. Joey Gase, 11th place. Blaine Perkins, 12th place. Great finishes for those guys. The other Dash for Cash drivers, SVG, ended up in 13th. Parker Retzoff ended up 17th. And Custer DNF'd in 27th. See there, the DNF's at the bottom of the results. Deegan, Kyle Sieg, Brandon Jones, Riley Herbs, Taylor Gray, all involved in crashes. Same with Custer, Sieg, Allgaier. Never, really never really got a chance to compete. But still, a big time win for AJ Allmere, that college racing team. A much needed shot in the arm after struggling the last couple of races since their hot start to the season. And a great run for Parker Kligerman that he needed as well. Coming home P2. Chandler Smith continues to be hot. Just got his sixth top five and sixth top ten of the year through seven races. This is, um, sorry, through eight races. This is unbelievable. And then his teammate Creed, top five for him. Daniel Dye, career best finish, fourth place. Uh, you know, Sam Mayer survives to finish a race, so props to him. And so, Almanir, your winner here at Texas. And now we look at the updated playoff grid. We have the playoff grid. Of course, Almanir joins Smith and Creed. Two wins a pop. Still at five different winners so far through eight races. Cole Custer, Anthony Alfredo, Sammy Smith. Pretty comfortable above the cut line still. But then Allgaier all the way down to Riley Earps, 9th through 13th. Only separated by just five points. Right now, Allgaier, SVG, Kligerman, and Jesse Love are in with Earps that's out by one to Jesse Love. Leland Honeyman, great start to the year, 14th in points. Sam Mayer, Parker Retzloff, Jeb Burton, Ryan Sieg, Brandon Jones, Kyle Weatherman, Brendan Poole just outside that cut line trying to fight their way in as we go throughout this long, long Xfinity Series regular season. that's going to go all the way till September. So until the next episode for Talladega, I hope you all have a good one.